Hello! As a product manager, you probably know more than anyone that the road from feature idea to launch can be sinuous. That's why you need a tool to clearly organize all your product docs, store user research data, and efficiently oversee cross-functional projects. This video will demonstrate how Notion can help you and your team seamlessly navigate the many stages of product delivery. Before we start, let's have a look at the template picker. In the Product Management section, you'll find ready-to-use templates. You can use a template as a head start or customize it to your liking. If you find one you like, click on Use this template, and it will automatically be added to your workspace. Here's an example of a product wiki page. This is a place where you can store your team's most important information, from the product lifecycle, to instructions on how to conduct user research, product interviews, or OKRs. Click on any page title to view its content. Notice that these pages also hold other pages within them. Notion allows you to store pages inside pages infinitely. Click on the toggle next to any page in the sidebar to view and access the pages that are stored inside. First, let's delve into this user research page. This is a table database that a product team can use to store the information they collect from user research initiatives. What's great about Notion databases is that every entry is a page of its own. In there, you can add all the content related to the entry. At the top of every page, you'll find your database's properties, which are pieces of information about each entry. We'll get back to these in a minute. For now, click on the downwards arrow at the top right of the table to use an already built template for each new entry. This helps make sure that everyone on your team who conducts user interviews is following the same process. To create a new database template, click here. In this projects database, entries are displayed in a board. Equally, click on any entry to access its page. In this case, the team wishes to catalog the nature of the project, as well as its status and priority level. The latter can come in handy for product managers who need to prioritize features ruthlessly. You can add a date property to capture the ship date, as well as a timeline of the project, and use a person property to assign each project to its corresponding product manager and engineers. Click here to add more properties to your database and delete any property by clicking on the six dot icon next to it, delete property, then delete. You may add all kinds of content into the body of a page from regular text and whimsical embeds to videos and code snippets. Everything that has to do with the project can be stored here. Use this section to leave comments to your colleagues or simply select content and click on comment in the menu that pops up. To push projects forward, you can also tag team members. Type the add key followed by their name. Then hit send. They will be notified of your message in their own workspace. Finally, note that you can display the most important properties on your cards by toggling them on in the Properties menu. This gives you a bird's eye view of the page's important information. Now, what if you wanted to view the same data in a different way? You can do that by adding a view in the View menu. With Notion, you can display the same data in a table, in another board like this one, in a timeline, calendar, list, or gallery. To be clear, adding a view does not change the information in your database. It simply provides you with another way of looking at your data. But it might be helpful to, say, see the status of all your projects in a board while also having a calendar to view project launch dates. A neat thing about properties is that you can use them to set up your database views. In this instance, the product team added four database views to their already existing database. We'll have a look at each of them. This calendar view lets the team see when each epic will be launched. In this board view, tasks are classified according to the product manager property, while this board groups tasks according to their status. If all you want to see in this view are tasks, click on Filter, then Add a Filter, and select Type is Task. When a new task is picked up or when a task is completed, just manually drag the card out of its column and into the next one. As simple as that. Finally, this table view only displays epics thanks to this filter. In this context, we refer to epics as large overarching projects. Now, at this point, 
We want product managers to keep the end user in mind when they're overseeing epics. To achieve this, we're going to connect every epic with the user data that backs it. In other words, we'll pull data from a separate user research database and connect it to this database using a relation property. Click on the plus sign at the top right of your table, call your new property user research, and select relation in the advanced section of the dropdown. Hit select a database and either find your database in the dropdown or look it up in the search bar. Click on it again, then on create relation. The next step is to find the user interviews that support this epic. Go to the user research column and select the user interviews by clicking on the plus buttons next to each of them. Every epic is now connected to concrete user data, which you can easily access from here without having to go to the other database to find them. Relations help enhance clarity and communication between different stakeholders in a team. For example, in a meeting notes database, you could specify which task or epic from the projects database is being discussed in the meeting. To find out more about this powerful feature, watch this video. We've now showed you how Notion can easily adapt to the many needs of a product team, use it to organize ideas, conduct user research, and launch projects that go from a simple bug fix to a new feature launch. And remember that you don't need to build a perfect workflow from the start. Rather, you can start with templates and fine tune them as you go along. As your product grows, Notion will grow with you. Music